All right then, here we are doing the day of ceremony. Ceremony being the rainbow dragon, which is that beautiful, beautiful picture of the rainbow dragon. And the dragon that's often behind me, just saying, break through, break through, Fiona, <laughs> do things a different way. Um, she comes to me in a voice basically when things are not going right or when I'm in an old way of behaving and she'll just say that is such a human way of behaving please stop it <laughs> so this is what we're doing today we are um being asked i am being asked to introduce ceremony to you ceremony being the rainbow dragon meaning this vision that i had of people walking under the rainbow walking into a new realm so hopefully you've picked one of four cards today, one, two, three or four. If you haven't picked the, one of the numbers today, have in your mind a question that you wanted answered or a solution for a particular problem that's going on and let the cards uh, reveal to you what your soul already knows. So these are the cards that I'm working with today. I'm only working with ceremony. And I'm not working with the rest of the deck. I'm only working with ceremony because ceremony is all about breaking through. So I'm going to be picking out four of those. So whichever of the numbers you have picked, that is what we're going to do. Um, something that I've been asked to share with you today as well is something that was coming through so strongly for me a year ago and then you know, a month ago and then this weekend. So I'm like, OK, 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 I'll say it. Um, the dragons are the voice of God. They are the voice of the universe. They are the voice of source. In other words, they are helping you to evolve, ascend with grace and ease and to become this different person, this operating in a different way. And it's been difficult for me to get out of my own way and say voice of God. But religion in its sense doesn't necessarily um, ring true with a lot of us anymore. So basically, if you're looking for mystical beings, if you're looking for angels, fairies, unicorns, pixies, um, anything that has a voice that you truly feel connected with and that you respect, then often that's why the dragons come through to you because they have messages. They are guardians of the voice of God so that they will come through in the modern day. They will come through in a different way. But often when I've got the messages coming through, I'm thinking, well, that's very Christian. That's very, you know, it's it's the religious way of looking at it. It's just the way that humans could just be operating on such a different level. So this is what we're looking at with all of the dragon cards. And we have this dragon book that goes along with the dragon cards. This is mine. I've scrolled in it and I put little tags on there to say when when the, you know, the information of the next dragon comes along. Ceremonies cards within the deck are cards from 49 to 56. And um, I'm going to read to you what I was asked to say about ceremony. So meet ceremony and one of her, well, she's one of the eight cosmic dragons that are here to share their message, you know, the voice of God. Ceremony is the rainbow dragon who is a remarkable dragon with a magnificent array of rainbow colours. These colours appear like an ever-changing illusion that moves in constant waves that could resemble in mirage appearing on the horizon. She offers you the portal to pass through so that you can break through into another realm, into a new paradigm, a new way of operating. You are aware and can let go of the illusion of the world you once knew. To let the world of love, magical power and creation be your new world and your new home. This new realm is supremely safe although you appear to be floating along because you are so familiar and so solid in your foundations you hold a knowledge of everything you rely on energy frequency and coaxing the invisible world through your imagination your words are like the most dramatic spell you are mastering your feelings so that you are aware that you have a power to create you have the skills within you and there is only certainly there is only certainty under the rainbow and no resistance exists. You receive your own voice from your conscious inner self as your soul 
to guide you forwards to bigger and better things. This is when you really are receiving divine guidance and you're letting the capacity of your mind interpret and understand the messages that are coming through. Now, ceremony's mission, to see you arrive at the edge of the rainbow, having let go of the world and understand the new world of invisible form and how to use that for your own creations on your earth life. Claim your internal power and bring everything you need and want down into the earth for your own good, the good of all, in human terms. You are the magician. You are the master creator, a supreme manifester. Imagine if a huge element of the population could create the world of their peaceful fantasy. The population has been turned away from the power and led a very limited existence. This power was taken away and humans let down a path that we see and know that we now have the way to control the masses and turn away from your soul's power to be able to create. This is now the time to step out of that era of darkness and beyond into creating your own reality. We are finding the words for the full experience for you of what it is to be a human in a human body, in your multi-sensory body, and in the capacity of your mind to understand and interpret the messages that we send. This is our aim, for you to know that a powerful being you are, in a human body with a focused mind, in mastering of your feelings and energy. This is magic. It is one thing of witches and warlocks, and it is the thing of magicians, and it is the powerful, incredibly, the simply no resistance. There is just no belief that someone called a witch, a warlock, a high priestess, that it just that it wasn't possible. So this is bringing the possibility to you, your God sense, a population who have tapped into the belief and it is possible. And this is 99% of the whole population that is in need of understanding this. So this precious time on evolution is the feeling of that element of the population who want to live as a multi-sensory being and know that they are currently feeling that they are operating at a fraction of their capacity. Because they know, they feel it rising and there is just so much more available to life, more than can be created and better ways to be lived. Moving out of your lower vibration and survival state is when everybody has the possibility and the potential of being a witch, a warlock, a high priestess to expand their energy and their mental capacity to see into the invisible, to have different experiences, to walk on different planes, to see different things. We, the dragons, will help you simply just know and allow you to feel that this is possible and just to feel the massive capacity for love, of fun, of optimum health, of fantastic relationships that can surprisingly alter and change just in a heartbeat. So that is enough for us to start with. So this is um, Ceremony's biggest message to you. She wants you to understand this, to grasp it and everything that goes along with it. So we're going to pull four cards today out of her eight deck. So we're going to be playing with four of these cards today and I will give you the cards and I will post them in the group as well. So these come up in Practical Magic in the group. This is all about how you create the life that you want. So let's just see which card is coming up first. So this one is calling me, that's card number one. And this one is calling me, that's card number two. And that one. And then the last card today, which will be card number four, is this one. Right, let's see what she has to say to you today. So, ceremony. Card number 52. Let's look for the number 52 and I shall read that. To you, anybody who chose card number one, this today is card number 52. The message on the card, let go of the old program 
the survival mind and the primal responses and go with a more playful sense of intuitive flow. So this is the card we are playing with today and this is ceremony. Can't get it focused. Okay. So that is card number one. So let me read that to you. Put on my dragon eyes again. Sometimes the cards can be a little bit long and that means that they are infusing you as you read it. These are the words of the dragons. They're not my words. I didn't make them up. They're not from AI or artificial intelligence. They are the words of God. They are the words coming through the dragons to help you understand where you fit in and what your soul already knows. So 52, let go of the old program. And I'm doing this at 10 minutes 45 into the recording. If you happen to fall into obsessive thinking of what is missing or what you lack or the stories and feelings of dread and doubt that are running wild, remind yourself it's just a phase and it will look brighter under a different coloured magnifying glass and in the morning of a new day. These feelings and situations often show you exactly what you are clearing away and ready to drop from your old programming from the lower vibrations of the reptilian brain, only programmed for survival and to keep you safe. This is the part of the brain at the back that's fight, flight and freeze, reptilian brain. Now remember to be grateful for what you are being shown from this very experience that you are having, even if it is uncomfortable. You need only ask for help with your current dilemma and, the, and be gracious for what is then provided. Open up your channels to intuitively perceive what you are being prepared to completely let go of and release. The mind, the body and the soul when reprogrammed and all integrated will work together beautifully. The mind can be reprogrammed from the old survival paradigm and your particular set of out of date educated beliefs and gradually receive the updated and uplifted new flow program. This is possible for everybody to experience where it may be the first seems safer to stay in the familiar but basic survival state. You know that state when you complain and you notice all the bad about people um, and let go of the old ways of thinking and acting from fight, flight or freeze. The reptile brain wants to keep you safe but stuck in fear and worry. You get now to trust that you are safe and that all of your basic needs will always be provided for. Now that's a big one, isn't it? There are many points in your brain that have not been, uh, that have not been discovered yet, that people so far know absolutely nothing about. There is, you know that um, statistic that they have that you only use 10% of your mind? This is expanding your mind so that you understand that you're beginning to use and expand into the superconscious. You're beginning to use the other 95 or the other 80% of your mind so that you're going beyond what you've been taught in a linear fashion and you're going into finding out everything else that is available to you, this sort of superpower, this knowing, this feeling that you're so safe that you can make any move and that you're always supported. Feeling and using your sensitive nature will be far more reliable than listening to your thoughts. Practice and learn how you sense and how you decipher your own body's language to you and how the capacity of your mind can help you detect and understand the language that you are being able to interpret from now on. So this is card number 52. It's a deep dive card because this is where ceremony, celebrate, you're diving through, you're coming through into a different version of your perception of the world. You're moving out of the matrix, you're moving out of survival and you're like, holy cow, I, I can change this. I can do things differently. Um, sometimes what she's talking about here is if you feel something and something's bad's going on, this is just your soul showing you that this is what you're still holding on to. This is a belief that you still hold. This is something that is still whirling around in your mind. So you get to kind of go, oh, right, I feel crappy and rubbish because I'm being shown something. So I can't pass the blame. 
Um, this happened to me again recently when I had an old trait being shown to me. You're clearing all the time like, oh wow, so this person is doing this to me to show me. So what I need to clear is X, Y and Z. And this is exactly what we do in A Course in Practical Magic. We help you to clear the habitual resonance that you still hold onto and the resistance of going through and breaking through. But the breaking that you break through every single time you spring clean and you let go of that particular energy that just is holding you back far, far, far too much. Card number two is 55 from Ceremony. All the cards today are from Ceremony because she has so much that she wants to tell you. So much that we haven't talked about already that she absolutely wants you to move along with. So hopefully you're loving the interaction with ceremony she has a big message they all have a big message but when you get to the point of ceremony it's like oh, look back at how much i've let go of that just doesn't bother me anymore i know that every single time something pops up and i feel oh i feel rubbish i feel i need to do do good detox of my mind it's all in your mind and you get to choose what you are going to hold on to and what you're going to let go of Card number 55, again working with ceremony. Create the appropriate feeling of what you seek. Flow from lack to lucrative and luxurious. This is card number two, which was number card number 55. And the timing here is 1635. So hopefully you've all chosen your card. If not, all the cards are relevant. But if you've got one particular message or one particular thing that you want to sort out, then choose one particular card. The link, by the way, is in the description of how you can get your own deck of cards. The dragons, the voice of God, want you to have and hold your own deck of cards so that you can use these like I do. And everyone else who's got them uses them and said, what's my part in this today? What is it that I need to clear? What's coming up for me? And this is this is how you're you're going to be spoken to. This is going to how how you're going to be told. Let me put on my dragon specs. Okay, number fifty five. Create the appropriate feeling of what you seek. Flow from lack to lucrative and luxurious. You've lost your focus and perspective. Stop using all those delay tactics and deluding yourself that there isn't enough for you. You understand this feeling of lack all too well and it's the fear of lack that stops you from moving forward with becoming the next bountiful evolved person and a member of the spiritually evolved conscious population it is the feeling of lack and the vibration and that energy is running through your body that allows you to invite the lack to show up in your daily life there is either something that you need to happen a certain way or you're being stubborn <laughs> to letting it go and look again through different eyes and see there really is no lack. It's time for you to create an appropriate feeling and that there really is enough. Your word for it would be abundance, bounty, opulence, profusion, plenty, wealthy, riches, luxury, lucrative, prosperous or fortune and get into that feeling and seeking the beauty of that. All the gold, the jackpots everywhere you go. It is not meant to be a riddle. It is not meant to be hard. It is, however, quite different to how you've been thinking and vibrating. We invite you to drop into the feeling of lack and then take a ride to the destiny of its contrasting frequency and counterpart of lush, luxury, and plenty. Explore and spend some time reminding yourself of times of plenty in this lifetime with an inventory of plenty. Then travel into previous lifetimes where you were bestowed with gifts of most luxurious fabric and jewels. Feel it and own it and embody that sensation. There's a note. It takes just as much alternative energy to do this as it does to have everything being forced through. And the frequency of working really hard to be able to get to to let go of that and stay in the energy that allows us to then deliver that to you. 
What it is that you want is held in your frequency of feeling. This is the language we want to hear. Relax all the effort. Focus on the ease of being tuned in and tuned, turned on in another way. You're a funny human. When you want more cash or to lose weight, you focus goes directly to what you don't have, the lack of it, and not the focus of the lucrative, luxurious energy and frequency of all possibilities. Oh my God, I absolutely love that card. I absolutely love that message. I had a message again this week about bobbing. And bobbing is a practice that I teach which is basically allowing yourself to soak up and bob in the feeling of what it is that you want. Most of us use words or mantras, but that just isn't deeply resounding enough. This reaches the parts of you that other words and practices will never reach. The ways that the dragons speak is um, allowing your soul to feel what it feels like. What were their words? When I'm translating this, it's the energy that they give me and I then put human words on top of it. So the luxury, the, the opulence, the, um, the success, the you know, celebrating, hence um, ceremony. All of those things, all of those words that are just, you know, where jackpots are everywhere, where you can, you're prosperous, you see the fortune, you see the riches, the wealth, the plenty, the lucrative. If you have to go into the memory of that, when you had it at one time, do that. If you have to use your fantasy, do that. If you know someone else who does that, go into them as a medium and feel what it feels like for them to live in that much abundance, that much glory, that much winning, that much jackpot, that much whatever it is. What is the feeling that you desire the most? So this is to soak in that pool of, <laughs> of all of that. Wow, okay. Okay, so we move on to card number, I think that's 51. Let's have a look, yep. Okay, so card number 51 from Ceremony again, because she wants you to break through, break through, break through, break through, break through, Ceremony number 51. Healing your feelings and the constant waves of your emotions. Now, this is number three. And I'll just make a note of the time. You can cry or laugh as much as you want to. It's my party and I'll cry if I want to. <laughs> the waves of feelings and emotions carry you forward and ask simply to be acknowledged and expressed. The well of your feelings fluctuate all of the time. They will rise and fall just below your conscious mind and are an accurate indicator of your inner circuits being triggered, getting jammed up or exploding with the release of energy. These growing pains of becoming conscious are felt first in the body. They are recognised and hopefully looked at and given the time and space to be interpreted and released. Any wave of vibration that remains unexpressed and remains suffocated with a lid put tightly on top of it without being recognised can and will generate form of that vibration and cause an effect on the physical and the mental state. Eventually creating an unwanted entity in the form that matches the ignored frequency of the original creation. It can be exhausting to keep such an experienced, uh, uh, sorry, Ooh. it can be exhausting to keep such an unexpressed vibration held without acknowledging it or giving your soul the opportunity to understand it and then let it pass. This is the opportunity to consciously heal. You may allow yourself to feel the energy rising and now feel safe to put into words what you're feeling. Go ahead and name it and identify with what it is that you are feeling. Where you feel it and describe the sensation if you cannot name it just yet. A feeling is just an identification of vibrations, sending out a signal, 
you get to recognise, like Morse code, or a colour, or a smell, or a taste, wanting to be identified and to be recognised. It's a new language for you to get to know how your body and mind connect the dots. Your sensory system inside you is becoming familiar with the feeling of vibration. Stay with it. Follow it. Know you are safe to feel this vibration and to explore it and watch where it goes. The feeling is what the body picks up and comes from inside the body first and then it travels to the mind to be detected which then tries to interpret, analyse and translate it. Don't be tempted to squash it down because it feels uncomfortable. Sit with it with no story attached. It's a practice of observation, that's all. These sensations in the language of feelings are your clue as to what lies just below the surface of your awareness ready and set to be identified and you can experience the huge relief as you release it. This is a long one. I hope you're understanding as I'm speaking or continuing it as I'm reading this card. It's giving you the track so whatever's coming up in your mind you're being able to track that through into your body to become aware of it. So what these dragon cards do is allow it to sort of be infused and come to the surface while these cards are being read in the voice of the dragon. Your emotions, which are not to be confused with your feeling sensations, come from your thought, from a story that has become attached to your identity and that makes you emotional. Take care not to create an event and an even bigger drama around these and continuing to indulge in your habitual dramatic theatrical patterns. An emotion is often linked to the thought and is triggered by external happenings and situations in an event. That represents the same energy vibration to flow inside you, triggering the habitual stories of poor me or grief or being hurt. The triggered thought and the story pops up again and again and again in the mind and then comes down into the body as an emotion that makes you have the expression of the vibrational feeling. This is when somebody triggers you and you explode because basically they're triggering you because this is what you're holding this is what you're doing so if it's rejection you may find somebody in a particular party just completely blanks you completely ignores you and like, why are they doing that why what have i done to them why are they doing that why are they so awful what's happening is once you can name it, so why are they reject rejection? Rejection. I'm holding rejection. They're showing me that I'm holding rejection. It's my job to get rid of rejection, probably again on a different level. It's a constant way of just keeping clearing, keeping clearing. And maybe you're feeling really strong rejection. It's not yours. Maybe it's theirs. Maybe it's for you to kind of go, is this my feeling? No. Is this someone else's feeling? Yes. Get your yes and your no and then go around the room and say, is it their feeling I'm picking up? No. Is it their feeling I'm picking up? No. Is it their... Oh, they're feeling rejected. They came in the room with rejection. So they're acting and responding out of rejection and I'm picking that up. Sometimes the feeling of fear can be very close and confused with that of the vibration of excitement and some situations are a mixture of both. You will get to know how each one feels and in your own language. You will experience that you are triggered in so many ways when you are ready to release the next vibrational energy that no longer serves you. Here, anything that invokes the emotion and feeling in the body that is ready to be acknowledged is the soul's invitation to heal and release by resolving the subconscious beliefs stuck in the energy in your physical being. The release of a story brings with it the consequence of a great physical release, such, an ab such as <laughs> an abnormally large bowel movement, lots of urination, sweating or vomiting. The entertainment industry is invaluable in helping you experience feelings you don't often come across in your everyday life 
and to understand the stories that you witness through films, poems, theatres, songs that trigger your senses and bring you the emotion and feeling that you are guided to move on past. You can go to great lengths not to feel and to stay numb out of your feelings so that you avoid and stay distracted from the fear and the feelings. Yet at the same time, you know that there is a better place and a better state to be in. Hmm. If you can see the feelings that you have as energy, um, you will be able to see your feelings as, um, yeah, when you see them as feelings, you can see them as energy and you can understand that they can be a colour. You know, your, your feelings can be anything just like a colour. It doesn't need to be such a traumatic, dramatic, drama-infused event. If you just see, oh, that's what I'm feeling. It's, it's just a colour. It's just an emotion. It's just a feeling. The very last card today, and then I must go and have a big drink of something. Um, ceremony, card number 50. Fully sensory, multi-dimensional being explore the truly expansive worlds and magical realms okay so i'm going to dip into this one and the time is 31 i don't mean to be talking so long but some of these cards and particularly ceremonies cards are um quite expensive they really want you to expand into a different version hence it breaks through into a different realm so number 50, fully sensory, multi-dimensional being. Explore the truly expansive worlds and magical realms. Should you ever feel uncertain about following your passion in this life, and if you are expressing it fully, invite yourself to explore the expansive worlds and realms, realms that exist in the playfulness of children so far unhindered and still innocent with their imagination on supercharge. Unaware of any restrictions and social limitations, any boxes and rules that they should or shouldn't have done or socially adhere to. Where there are no made up invisible boundaries restricting growth, only pure imagination and play. This is a bit like the card from Bloom when you are unapologetically you. You are so into the character of playing doctors and nurses or cowboys and Indians or singing on stage like the actress or you're so, so into it. You are a fully sensory being who breathes in feelings and colour, lives a lighter, joyful life. There are no burdens. It is experiencing the breath of life, the flow of life, and you feel you know why you are here what you came to experience in every sensation that is possible and you do it with simplicity, playfulness and ease. It feels so light to be glorious with a heart rejoicing. Humans have become so dense, heavy, stuck in what we see as your survival mode. In your words and frequency of serious, <clears throat> sensible, stuck, stale, stable and just surviving. Even your children are asked to be serious and grow up and stop pretending. Fully sensory is a lighter vibrational existence in physical form where there are no heavy lines and boundaries. Multidimensional interspecies and conscious communications are happening all the time. And the next generations know this and already know and play with this. They have this knowledge of what's available what's invisible to the eye, but in a different spectrum. It's not arrived yet in its full form. This multi-sensory experience is a reality for you too. And all whilst being on the physical earth, playing a flesh and bones body and experiencing gravity and exploring the frequency of living in consciousness. It's an evolution. It's a step up. And this is where your fifth senses become your sixth senses, become your seventh and eighth senses, and beyond that for the next generations. This requires a level of attention and awareness to what you already feel, as well as attending to your own energy. This is the practice of expanding your ability to feel, 
to feel lighter, to feel wealthier, to feel more in love, to feel whatever is available that you want, to feel farther and farther than just where you are right now. This encompasses the feeling of what is happening and what is currently existing to the feeling and sensing of what more could be more playful than this, what is possible. It's a much bigger capacity of what's available to you. It's playing wildly, unapologetically, boundlessly, messing about and frivolously playing. For you, it may be difficult to imagine what else is available for you if you have never experienced it. Play with your imagination across the colours of your breath, the texture of the air and the waves of feeling, the temperature of thought and the earth element held within an emotion to where an energy is sitting in your body and roll with it as this is an experience of creating. When you're able to feel what is not in existence right now, create it in the invisible realm. You have given life to something you want to create and it is you who connects and communicates that into life. You and only you give your attention and purpose to what exists and bring it to life. Life, force, energy on your own thoughts and with your focus. It is you who brings that down to earth so that you can experience it in form. Remember, as you give life to an idea, it wants to live and be with its creator as much as you want it to be with you. You are the creator, you are the magician. If you can imagine something that you want, for example, a car, and you're just, oh my God, I want that car so much. It'll be so much fun to drive that open top car and have the wind in my hair and feel the leather steering wheel and the leather seats and the tires screeching on the pavement. Oh God, I can't wait. It smells so great. I can smell the leather. All of this, all of this playfulness, being in character and let yourself bob in that frequency of it all. Oh my God. I hope that you enjoyed all of what was happening here. I'm just writing down the numbers of the cards so that I can just put them in the group and just tag everybody who asked for a card. These cards are amazing. They speak to me every single time, every single day. I call on the cards to sort of write, show me what's next. Um, and don't forget that you're linked to the cards. You can get a printed set yourself and a little book that explains exactly what it is that your soul is showing you. If you've had an event that happened over the weekend and you fell into a way of feeling that you're just, oh God, I want to feel like that. Why do I feel like that? You want to understand why? Let the cards show you what your soul wants you to know. Um, it's an absolute pleasure to be here every single week and read these cards. And every now and again, they ask me to read them in a different way, in a different format. So um, I'm always listening to my divine guidance. And I suggest that you do too, because life just becomes so much more joyful when you do. Um, lots and lots of love. Have a great week and see you again next week. And could be sovereign that we're doing next week, but we shall see what I'm asked to present.